Spirits open, let's go! <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, I am at Colony Square. What's it called? Colony Square Mall in Zanesville, Ohio. And here is a very small looking spirit Halloween back here. Actually, I don't know how small it is. There might be another entrance on the inside of the mall. I should go in over there, but let's try this door first. I do love the sign on this one. I love how every place has a different type of sign. Will it open? Yes. It will. All right, look at this, guys. As soon as I walk in this door, I start seeing things I want to look at, like these tiny little babies right here. We saw some of these in the Alliance store the other day. I think we saw Leatherface, Pennywise, and Sam, maybe? Or did we see Ghostface, too? I haven't seen a Michael Myers anywhere yet. Do you know if they even make them? All right, let us not get sidetracked. And here we are getting sidetracked. <laughs> I actually have this Terrifier mask at home. I'm not even sure why I bought it. I think just because it looks so cool, but I bought it before I ever even saw the movie. But this year, they have another one out that looks pretty much the same thing, except for this one has blood on his face. Look at this, I love how in every store we come into that has this setup, there's somebody different over here. It's always Ghostface here, but there's always somebody different over here. And in this one, it's Punchy. Let's see if Punchy will work. I love how big his hands are. Punchy, are you gonna talk to us? I don't think Punchy's gonna talk to us. Oh well, that's good because it means we don't have to hear bad words. But look at this, guys. In the last store we were in, which was St. Clairsville, Ohio, I had just got done saying that I hadn't seen a ghost face animatronic with the aged mask, and here he is. Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't wear my shoulder buddy, so I don't have anybody to talk to in here, except for you guys. So I'll just tell you I'm pointing out that the first ghost face we saw had the bloody mask and the machete. The second ghost face we saw had the bloody mask and the knife, and this one has the aged mask and the knife. All right, let's see if we can get him going here. Here we go. Now I see something red. <laughs> Wow, he's really moving fast. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is awesome. You know what, before we go any farther, let's come around and look at this because I have not looked at this in any stores yet, but I noticed it in pictures online. Henry Hustle behind the ghost face. Look at this, pick a card, any card, and it is Henry Hustle. What is this made of? That's like a vinyl. This is such a cool setup this year, guys. People are gonna be clamoring to get all this stuff. I bet they've already begun the lists. Let's see who's on the back of this one. Oh, okay. On the back of this one behind uh, Punchy there, we just have the Carnival poster that has all of these animatronics on, and each one of them has one of these barcodes that you can scan and you can actually watch a video of how they work. Oh, cool, look, there is a door that goes out to the mall. We'll check that out in a minute. But as always, let's speak in the wheel of fate. All right, what will we get today? Where will it stop? Will I live or will I die? Oh, it stopped on the moon. Can anyone tell me what the moon means? Might it be the moon of murder? Look at this on this one behind Max Straw. They have the green Oogie Boogies. We have a Sam, a Michael Myers, and an It. We have an It. All right, let's go over to the other side. Whoa, wait a minute. Holy crap. Look who we have set up right here. It is the Cauldroness. She has an orange bottle in her hand making her brew. I don't see a step pad. Does she have a uh, sensor? Hmm, she must not be plugged in and working at the moment. That's kind of a bummer, but that's cool that we got to see her in the store. All right, let's look at Mac Straw here, and what is Mac holding except the Hello Rat? See if we can get him going here. Come on, Mackie. <laughs> I'd be laughing too if I was holding a Hello Rat. Across from Mac Straw, we have the Night Terror. I almost called him the Death Stalker. Come on now, what the heck, why aren't they plugged in? Like none of these are plugged in and running, how strange. The ball of fortune is not even working. 
They must just still be setting up because we don't even have anyone set up in the Down the Duck game. Who's running this game anyways? Oh, look at this. We have the sitting scarecrow hiding down here taking a break. Huh. Talk about lazy. Wait a minute. Look at this, guys. Holy crap. Who would have thunk it? They have a Toothy the Clown in this store, too. They had one over in the St. Clairsville store, and now they have one right here. We got a Fogging Skull Pile, a Scary Sitting Scarecrow. We have two regular Sitting Scarecrows here, two more Scary Sitting Scarecrows. And look who we have over here, Darling Dolly. Yeah, they still must just be setting everything up, but they do have the fun house going over here. We got Barnaby, we got Emily, we got Bobby Strings. We're apparently still waiting on Victor to show up over here. We got Cotton Candy Dan over here and Wanda Webworth, and we have Nibbles right over here. Whoa, his head looks like it's cocked way too far to the left. That looks really strange. I wonder if somebody just put him together wrong. I've been watching you for a while now. Hmm. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain okay, he's turning a little bit, but yeah, the head must just be put on or wrong or something. Wait, here now he's following me. Holy crap. That actually worked really good in here. Wouldn't it figure the first Nibbles to actually follow me correctly has a broken neck. All right, let's see if we can get Wanda Webworth going. What the? It looks like Wanda's missing an arm. There it is. Oh, she got two arms down there. What the heck is going on? Wait, and she's got T-Rex feet. T-Rex? No, what kind of feet are those? Oh, it's like Velociraptor feet. The Velosa Wanda. All right, let's see if she'll get moving anyways here. Yeah, she's still going. Whoa. She is super loud too. Excuse me, miss, I think you need to pay a visit to the surgeon. All right, let's see if we can get Cotton Candy Dan here. Come on, Dan. I'm curious to see when he goes to put the head back in the bucket, does he like plunge it up and down like the one in St. Clairsville? All right, here we go. Moment of truth. No, he's just pushing it down in there. One fluid movement. That is so strange. That's the way that mine at home does it. But yeah, that weird one in St. Clairsville, for some reason he would like push the head down and bring it back up and down and up and down. That was really weird. Okay, let's go back around. We're gonna go through the fun house and then there's a whole wall full of animatronics over here. Wait a minute. We didn't even say hello to these guys. I'm sorry, Mr. Barnaby. He's very angry with me. He's not moving. What in the world is happening at the Spirit Halloween in Zanesville, Ohio? All right, Emily, bring us back to life. Come on now. This is I was a bride. My dreams were taken from me. Well, at least Emily's working. Wow, her roses are like really gray. I think the roses on mine at home are more of like a closer to black or purple. All right, let's check out Bobby's strings before we go through the fun house. Come on, Bobby. Hey, everyone. Block of wood. <laughs> Let that be a lesson, kids. Don't be a blockhead. It's gonna be the cheesiest song I've ever heard in my life. I love it. All right, now let's come over here and go on through the Spirit Fun House of Terra into the Hall of Mirrors. These things will never not crack me up. Just check out how they look as I walk by. Whoa, whoa, I look gigantic in that picture. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's leave a couple of stickers in here and we'll put a couple on this mirror as well. All right, let's come back out and make one full walk straight through just because it's totally awesome. And that brings us to these two walls right here that are full of animatronics. Look at this, we got a Reagan on the top here. 
We have a Towering Tallulah, two Corpse Bride Emilies. We have two Slims over here. We got two Max Straws, a Spike, a Night Terror, another Night Terror, a Black Heart. Let's go out here real quick first because I want to see if they have a sign up here inside the mall. Wow, there is like nobody in here at all. I honestly don't know if I've ever been in this mall. If I were still filming the dead malls and abandoned places, I'd be filming this one here today. But look at this. Yes, they do have a sign right up here. And that's actually a really cool place. I'm glad to see that they put it up here instead of over the door because that looks awesome. In fact, I think I'm going to use that one in my thumbnail instead of the one outside. I really, really want to take a walk through this mall, but I'm not going to do that. I'm here to film the Spirit Halloween, so let's go on back in. I do love these posters. Those look so cool and colorful, especially this one right here. Kind of reminds me of Blippi, actually. Okay, back into the animatronic wall. Look at this. We've got three Mr. Punchies over here. What the heck? We we got three gravestone ghouls, three demonic gatekeepers. We've got like four possessed friends. Oh my gosh, there's a rat girl. They actually have rat girl. I think she's another one that's supposed to be exclusively available online. They got two ghost faces, but those are not the animatronics. These are the static ghost faces where the knife and the face lights up and he just makes sounds. Oh, there's another one back there too. So they have three of those and then they have a howling spirit and a giant death ray. We got a straw man over here, two sitting scarecrows, and it looks like we can see the wall over here. So this is a smaller store and this is exactly what I was talking about when I was at St. Clairsville and I said, let's save some of this stuff for other stores in case they don't have as many animatronics. Now they do have a whole bunch over here as I showed you and a whole bunch over here as I showed you and they do have this whole setup throughout here but let's go ahead and take a little walk through the store and see what other awesome stuff we can find like these two things right here these are light covers they're like front porch light covers this one's a clown and if you look here you can see where that's a wall right by a door you hang that right over the light on your front porch and then that illuminates so that one that actually looks like the spinning eye clown. And then this one is obviously a skull and you use it in the same way. Oh, look at this over here. We've got a Mars Attacks little statue. This is cool. Me and that other Nate guy just watched Mars Attacks the other day. Look at that, it lights up inside the earth and look at the look on his face. That is hilarious. We got the Killer Clowns popcorn guns. We got Michael Myers carving a pumpkin here. See if that one will light up. Yeah, the pumpkin lights up. And then we got Nightmare Before Christmas. Light up snow globe. He's not lighting up right at this short moment. But that is a pretty cool looking snow globe. Look at that. It's like black snow. <laughs> That's cool. I like how they have all the other little characters. There's Santa. And then a little pumpkin, Oogie Boogie. We got Sally. How cool is that? And then, of course, we have the... Mars attacks snow globe here. Oh yeah. That's cool, I love those sounds and it's stars. It's not uh, snow, it's actually stars. Let's do it again. Pretty cool. Look at this, we have a ghost sidestepper. What the heck, where's the button? All right, let's try it out. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. I wouldn't say he's sidestepping, he's more like up and down stepping or swaying or something like that. While we're on the side steppers, let's look at these. Look at this, we got a spiky. Let's see if he's working. Nope, he's not working. We got the leather face. Is he working? No. We have ghost face, who I have at home. He's actually pretty cool. Look at this, we got Michael Myers. I don't think I've ever seen this one. This is new to me, the Michael Myers Halloween 2 Sidestepper. Please work. Yes. Ha 
I don't know about that music, but he's still pretty cool. <laughs> and then, of course, we have Chucky down here. It's showtime! <laughs> he's... Is that it? No. That's pretty cool. He just keeps going and going and going. Look at this. We got the good guys Chucky doll. We got Annabelle. We got Sitting Sam. And we have Glenn, who last year they could not keep this guy in stock. We got four of them here right now if you're looking for him. Okay, let's take a little walk through here and just see if anything pops out at us. I have a Goosebumps poster in my basement right now. And I have the Haunted Mask set up beside it. But I was actually looking for another Goosebumps mask to put under that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here's the haunted mask right here. This is the one that I was talking about. If you watched that video, it's on the Saturday Night Snack and a Movie uh, channel. And this is the mask. I bought it from here last year or two years ago. And I actually have that hanging up right now beside the Goosebumps poster. Wait a minute. Is that like a, another face on the back there? Like a skull trying to protrude? So they have that one, but I don't see any other Goosebumps mask. You'd think that they would have like Slappy or something. I pointed this one out in the other store. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. I think this one's new for this year. Look at that. That hair looks like Andre the Giant's hair on the Princess Bride. Yeah, I don't see any other Goosebumps, but I do see the evil corn here. You gotta love the evil corn mask. That is absolutely hilarious and it's got the disgusting corn husk hair Ugh, I want to puke oh hello grandma I don't think they have any new ghost face masks this year unless I just haven't seen them if you guys know leave me a comment below and let me know so I can start looking out for it we got poppy and kissy missy let's leave a couple stickers in these trick-or-treat bags here Ooh, speaking of the spinning eyes clown here he is see what I was talking about how he's purple but this one does have the spinning eyes. Let's see, any other? Oh, we got two Grave Watchers over here. All right, that's cool. We got the Foam Coffin down here. And look at this. We have the Jack the Reaper Archway. I am very tempted to get one of those. That is really cool. He is 12 feet tall, and I love the hands. The hands are huge. I'm so glad that they're starting to make Jack the Reaper merchandise. All right, let's see. How much is he? Uh... The heck, I don't see a sticker on him. I don't know how much he is. Oh, wait, wait, the sticker's on the front here. $129.99. I'm gonna have to check my email and see if I have a 20% off coupon. Yeah, I do. I just checked my email and sure enough, I have a 20% off coupon I could use on this guy if I wanna buy him today. I really wanna do that, but I'm gonna have to check with that other Nate guy first because we're trying not to buy the same stuff because we're both working on things at the scare house and we don't wanna just have a hundred of the same things sitting around. All right, I'm gonna wait because I can't get a hold of him right now. I hope I see it in other stores later on if he didn't get it. Look at this. Somebody put the hello rat down here gnawing on a heart and I just noticed this over here here's these pillows that a lot of people been talking about this year this one's a skeleton you fold out his leg Ooh, he's soft fold out his legs and look at this this one is black on white and this one's white on black and then they also have the uh, the skeleton with the pumpkin head oh look at this I haven't seen this before it's the art the clown doormat it's like he's coming out a big hole in the ground that actually does look like a hole too Oh, and look over here. They actually have two of the brand new for 2024 Hanging Jack Reapers. These are awesome. Look at the face. Look at the detail on that guy. Those are really cool. All right, I think we're going to call it a day in this store. I got a couple more I want to hit today, and they are quite a drive.